Hi guys, welcome to our channel presentation. I will present you our work about atmosphere. So guys, hope you enjoy it and then from it. First, we have atmosphere. Atmosphere is all about the gases. An atmosphere is the layer of gases surrounding a planet or at another celestial body. Earth's atmosphere is composed of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases. And temperatures varies greatly with altitude. Next, we have thermal stratification of the atmosphere. Ther thermal stratification of the atmosphere refers to the process of a fluid separating into layers based on temperature, which occur because temperature changes result in density changes. Next, we have outer atmosphere. Outer atmosphere is all about the solar radiation makes the upper regions of the thermosphere very hot, reaching temperatures, temperatures as high as 2000 Celsius or 3600 Fahrenheit. The uppermost layer that blends with what is considered to be outer space is the exo exosphere. The pull of Earth's gravity is small, here that molecule, molecules of gas escape in to outer space. Next, we have composition of the atmosphere. An Earth's atmosphere is composed of about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 0.9% argon, and 0.1% other gases. Trace gases, trace amounts of carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and neon are some of the other gases that make, make up the remaining 0.1% and we have greenhouse effect. Um, greenhouse effect is the way in which heat is trapped close to Earth's surface by greenhouse gases. This heat trapping gases can be thought of as a blanket wrap around Earth keeping the planet toaster than it would be without them. And green, greenhouse gases is a and we have Greenhouse gases. The greenhouse effect is a process that occurs when gases in Earth's atmosphere traps the sun's sea. This process makes Earth, Earth much warmer than it would be without an atmosphere. The greenhouse effect is one of the things that makes Earth a comfortable place to live. And ozone. Ozone is a colorless, odorless, reactive gas comprised of three oxygen atoms. It is found naturally in the Earth's stratosphere where it, it absorbs the ultraviolet component of incoming solar radiation that could be harmful to life of, on Earth. And chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs are non-toxic, non-flammable chemicals containing atoms of carbon, chlorine, and chlorine. They are used in the manufacture of Aer aerosol sprays, blowing agents for foams and packing materials, as solvent and as refrigerants. And next, primary air pollution. The primary is released di directly from the surface, thus smoke particles, nitro nitrogen, and that, etc. Secondary form when primary pollutants react or combine with one another or basic elements. And primary air pollutants. A primary air pollutant is an air pollutant emitted directly from a source. A secondary pollutant is not directly emitted as such, but forms when other pollutants. Primary pollutants react in the atmosphere. And carbon. Carbon monoxide binds preferentially to the iron in a red blood cell. Exposure to CO can lower CO2 levels to the point of causing loss of consci consciousness in the Carbon monoxide is dangerous in And we have sulfur. Sulfur is sulfur dioxide is a byproduct of the burning of coal, coal or oil. If it reacts with moisture in the earth to form sulfuric acid. It is primarily responsible for acid rain. And 
nitrogen oxide. Nitrogen oxide are a family of poisonous, highly reactive gases. These gases form, form when fuel is burned at high temperature. And now, NOx pollution is emitted by automobiles, trucks, and various non road vehicles, example, construction equipment, boats, etc. And lastly, we have photochemical smog. Photochemical smog is a mixture of pollutants that are formed by nitrogen oxide and volatile organic compounds, VOC, react to sunlight, creating a brown haze above cities. It tends to occur more often in some because that is when we have the most sunlight. And that's all for our presentation today. And thank you for listening. Hope you learn from it. Bye-bye.